on. I quickly want to mention this. And I want to mention this only because I don't usually try like to cover comedy stuff on the Agassino Zynga show because I like to keep it separate for the random show. But we're going to cover this just to kind of give it a slight little tinkle. Slight little tinkle, right? Slight little tinkle. What do you guys think about this? For me personally, I feel like the American dream and I feel like the American dream is like all encompassing and it's also without borders. It's not only, def it's not only kind of defined, it's not only um, specific to America. I think most people have an idealized version, have a version of the American dream for themselves, right? White picket fence, dog, you know, wife, partner, whatever it may be, right? Kids, whatever, cool, right? But I think the advanced version of the American dream nowadays is how much can I get out of life with doing the without doing much so basically i want the most out of life by doing the bare minimum that i think should be the american dream and also the american dream should be i don't want to get better i don't want to you know have to improve myself or you know study and read and become intellectual just so i can kind of put food on the table you know live a somewhat comfortable life whatever it may be i just want to be who i want to be right now in this moment but then also have all the luxuries and privileges in life that kind of life can afford me that's what i'd want that's what i'd think the american dream is in my opinion but there are some people like brendan shaw who somehow has a weird way that he's navigated for it because this to me this example of this clip i'm going to play here is a legit funny clip because i don't know if he's joking and I don't know if he's being serious, but if he's being serious, if he's being serious, he might be the dumbest person to ever walk the face of this earth, but he's also a multimillionaire. But there's also a little hint, I feel like, in him where he wants to try and prove that he's smarter than what he is. So my question is, if you're Brendan Shaw and you're as dumb as he is, but you allegedly have two degrees, but you're also a multimillionaire, and despite everybody thinking you're a piece of shit and you're a douchebag and you're a bully and you're a cheater and you're a liar, and ah, all these labels, you still persevere. You're still somewhat successful. You still have a fan base. You still do what you want to do when you want to do it, which in my opinion is its own form of luxury. Why would you be trying to prove to people that you're smart or that you know what you're talking about? Why bother? Why bother? Why bother try and prove that you're smart or you know what you're talking about when you don't know what you're talking about and life has rewarded you? And this is a prime example of it. Please tell me in the chat, is Brendan Shaw joking or is he serious? What do you think? What do you think? Right? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Wait, I just remembered what I wanted. Read the recap, Brian sent a text. Oh, oh, oh here's, here's, hey, here's what's cool. Like, Did you see Ethan Hawke when... Uh, Steve Col Colbert asked, he goes, Ethan Hawke, what happens when we die? It's his question. He goes, yeah. it's a question. He goes, what happens when we die? Bring up Ethan Hawke's answer. It's pretty cool. It was awesome. I, I, I uh, Yeah, I definitely saw it. I fucking love it. Do you it. do it in the robot voice? No, it's, 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 it's like you go, Ethan Hawke. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? Brian Callen brings up a clip that went semi-viral of Ethan Hawke and Stephen Colbert giving some, you know, esoteric nonsense, you know, empty speak actor answer to the whole meaning of life thing on the spot, allegedly on the spot, clearly rehearsed. But everyone's kind of creaming their pants over it because Ethan Hawke is a pretty charismatic and a, you know, funny dude. My best kind of, my favorite cultural moment of Ethan Hawke is that clip, is that picture of him sitting courtside at an NBA match. And I think the story goes that he's sitting there and I think his son, um, you know, has a seat that's next to Rihanna. And then uh, I think this is Rihanna, like, you know, umbrella time, like, you know, umbrella, you know, Rihanna's out there in the street. She's looking amazing. She's just coming out every flipping big cultural sporting event, looking crazy good and whatnot. She still looks great now, but, you know, Rihanna at a flipping peak peak. And his son's sitting next to Rihanna and he asks his son to swap seats so he can start spitting game to Rihanna. That's my favorite flipping Ethan Hulk moment culturally, like this flipping amazing. Anyway, he's a legend, really good actor, seems like a cool dude. They bring him up, they make this point. Oh, do you see that clip about Ethan Hawke? Brendan Schaub turns to Brian Callan and says, did he do it in that robot voice? 
he thought they meant Stephen Hawking. When he said Ethan Hawke, he thought Stephen Hawking, who's died many years ago, I think now, maybe 2018 or something, he's been dead a, a, a pretty long time. A long enough time that you shouldn't be thinking he's on still with Stephen Colbert last week. RIP Stephen Hawking. And he said, Stephen Hawk, did he do it in a robot voice? Is he being serious? Or is he joking? What do you think in the stream chat, please? And I'll play it one more time. Because I'm, I'm still not sure. I want to zoom into his face and see if he like smiles and does that thing that Brendan does where he kind of laughs at himself like, <laughs> I'm so funny. Let's see. Are we winning? Who did the well, leak? We're, I mean, did you see that thing I sent to, the, to our group chat? Yeah. Tell the people what you said. Right? Yeah. It was pretty interesting. Wait, I just remembered what I wanted. For you to recap, Brian sent a text. Oh, oh, here's, here's, hey, here's what's cool. Like, Did you see Ethan Hawke when uh, Steve Col Colbert asked? He goes, Ethan Hawke, what happens when we die? It's his question. It was, it's yeah. a question. He goes, what happens when we die? Bring up Ethan Hawke's answer. It's pretty cool. It was awesome. I, I uh, Yeah, I definitely saw it. I fucking love it. Do you it. do it in the robot voice? No, it's, 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 it's like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are people saying in the stream chat what do you think is he serious smock said 100 percent. he's being serious he literally has no idea charles lucas lol some guy one million percent he's being serious net runner brenda uh chris mack he's lying uh brendan professional comedian professional carl median Ariane Privilege, hilarious. Everyone knows Stephen Hawking was putting on that phony robot voice to be posh. <laughs> I love it. I am Sin, CTE, smack, I knew it. He was dead serious. Uche, serious. Uh, Charles, Luke, every, okay, you all, okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one. If that's the case, if we all think he's being serious, yeah, big up Piotr, big up, big up. Um, if we seriously redacted, if we think he's being serious, right? And I think he's being serious too, because you see he's trying to flow, follow the flow of the conversation. You see Brendan always gets a little bit, when he feels a little bit inadequate and he feels like the conversation is passing him by, he'll start doing the left, right, like tennis type of thing, because obviously he's in the middle. He has to be the number one. I'm the boss. I'm the leader. I'm in the middle of the flipping show, blah, blah, blah which is weird. It really should be, not, not that this matters, but... If you're going to do a podcast and you're going to have three people sitting down, facing the camera, I think to kind of make the show fresh, you should maybe switch where the quote unquote lead, the A mic sits based on the guest. So if, if you maybe have a better connection with the guest, maybe sit next to them because you can kind of, you know, joke about more. And then the same goes for the, for the other way around. Like, in this case, maybe Jay Larson and flipping Brian Callen get along better. Maybe this time have Brian sit in the middle. But Brendan has this little obsession and kind of thing about being always the guy in the middle and I'm the guy, I'm the boss, so it kind of is what it is. But he really was serious in this clip. He legitimately thought Ethan Hawking was flipping... Um, Ethan Hawke, sorry, Ethan Hawking, so even I'm getting it wrong. He thought Ethan Hawke was Stephen Hawking. Can you believe that? And I'm thinking now myself, I'm saying the American dream should be getting away with being completely redacted, but also making tons of money in the process. If that's the case, why are you bothered about looking dumb and just saying, hey, who's Ethan Hawke? Who's that again? Is that the robot voice guy? And they would have said, no, Brian, ha ha, it's actually Ethan Hawke. But because he pays everyone's bills, everyone's scared to say anything. No one wants to correct him. So they all kind of sit there silent and just kind of hope that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't Chris Benoit the entire room. But if it was me, hey, big up Glass, big up for the 499 Super Chat. Thanks, folded hands, for all the cool content, man. You know how we run, you know how we rule. Thanks for being here, Glass, because without people like you and without the rest of the stream chat, I would be no one. I would still be somebody, clearly, because I can talk myself to sleep in an empty room, but it, it helps to have some viewers. But anyway, back to the show. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. Um, I still think, on my, on my life, I still think, I swear to God, I still think that it's actually quite amazing and pretty cool and you should be kind of proud if you're Brendan and you've basically, you know, figured life out monetarily wise to get to this level, but you're legitimately like double-digit IQ, maybe single-digit IQ. 
That should actually be a point of pride. You shouldn't be trying to prove that you know stuff because that's what he did there by like saying, oh, do you say this robot voice, right? By like saying it that way because he tried to prove that he knows who Stephen Hawking is. But actually he kind of messed it up and thought that was Ethan Hawking. Whatever. Don't do that. Just enjoy being dumb. Kind of like, kind of, you know, um, what's that word called? Bask in it. Soak in it. And just live your life because, you know, we're not all meant to be fucking Stephen Hawking, right? We're all not meant to be super smart. Some of us are meant to be redacted and also get the most out of life because other redacted people can look at you and say, hey, he did it, right? That's what it should be like. It's kind of like, this is a bad example, but it's kind of similar to like, um, it's kind of similar to like, it's kind of similar when they send sports teams to like children's hospitals and shit. They kind of do them to kind of give the kids, you know, um, a nice time and give them something, you know, to kind of make them happy and stuff, especially if they go through crazy, you know, life debilitating flipping illnesses and ailments and stuff and awful things that kids should never have, you know, horrible, get well soon, all those kids in children's hospitals. But usually they do them as a weird motivator for the athletes. Like, hey man, you're 19 years old, you get paid a meal a week. You're taking the shit for granted. Hey, go to children's hospitals. See what life is actually like on the other side of the tracks. You were lucky. You were born with the way you are, the genes that you have, the family that you're in, blah, blah, blah. Now, you know, go see these kids. Feel sorry about yourself and then get out on this pitch and go run. Go and score some goals. Go and flip in, you know, drop some buckets or whatever they call it in fucking basketball. That's what they kind of do. And I think Brendan has that kind of same um, capacity. He serves in culture. People look at him and think, rah, man, if he's that redacted, and he's able to get this far, then I can too. That's what it should be like. And you should take pride in that. You should feel like, yes, I did it. Despite being redacted, despite being double digit IQ, I smashed it. That should be a point of pride. Instead of sitting there trying to like act like you know who the guy is and then make yourself even look even dumber. Personally. But again, maybe I'm the redacted one. Maybe I'm the redacted one.